I saw a sign saying that the variety of plant life on the volcano itself in this ecosystem is larger than the entire uh, plant life in England or Switzerland. So I can just imagine what kind of a ecosystem, what kind of biological variety they have here. Really uh, so hard to imagine. Well, at least the path is flat now. So long ago going uphill. There's another tree with so many bromeliads on it. Here are the species of animals that you can find here. Butterflies and these, uh, I guess they're uh, newts, kind of like lizards. A lot of endemic species of reptiles and amphibians that you can find in this area here. That's uh, the beauty about it. Here are the species of birds. This is what I wanted to see, the hummingbirds. But we were told that it's too late for that. You have to come early in the morning. That's when they come here to feed on the nectar. La floración de la silicona se activa a la campana de la naturaleza, anunciando a los colibríes que ha llegado el tiempo de procrear. Yeah, so I wonder, I wonder how many species of hummingbirds they have here. They don't really tell you. And uh, we won't be able to see them, unfortunately. But they're there. I mean, I hear some birds up in the canopy. Too bad that uh, birds cannot be seen. There is a bird here. I hear it. Look at how great the soil here is. It's red soil, volcanic soil. That's perfect for agriculture, especially for coffee. That's where you uh, can have your coffee plantation. Did I hear something there? I thought it was maybe howler monkeys, which by the way, we heard howler monkeys on our way up here. And then they they left, you know, they, they hid. So. We didn't see them, we just heard them.
Buenas. Se, se puede, no se puede continuar por, por allá. Solo por acá. Solo por acá. Y ese sendero no, es. El mirador y la fumadora. El mirador. Y la, de ahí retornaría. Ah, ok. Es el sendero cerca de, del cráter. De ahí solo con guía. Ah, ok. Ahí hay una, hay una mapa. Este es el mapa. Ok, cráter. ¿Dónde estamos uh, sobre la mapa? Ahorita estamos aquí. Ah, ok, ok, inicio. Entonces, usted vino de por acá, de la estación. Ajá. Bajo en este sentido, todo esto. Ah, por, por allá. Por acá. Baja okay. las fumarolas por ahí. Ajá. Luego regresa y sube acá y llega al punto de inicio. Ah, ok, ok. Y eh, eh, eso es el, el sendero que no, no se puede tomar Ese sin... es el sendero del Puma, el más largo, que debe ir con guía del volcán. Ah, ok. Sí. Ok, ok. Gracias. So this is what it's all about. Huh? It was uh, worthwhile to climb all the way up here to enjoy this beautiful view of, I think, Granada down there behind me. And uh, yeah, you can see up there how the clouds are moving so fast above the hilltop. Incredible. Yeah, that's a uh, turkey vulture, I think. Flying up there. Look at that, that's awesome stuff. El Mombacho, la isla de Tierra Firme. You can even take a boat on uh, Lake Nicaragua. I guess that's uh, the lake that's right next to Granada. Interesting stuff. meters, actually more than the 1,000 meters, it no longer feels like it's dropping. There's a cool breeze that gives you the I'm so talking on the camera, there's so much wind, I doubt that it would be audible. I think that I gotta start coming down now. I've pretty much seen all the parts of the volcano here. I think we went around the crater more or less. So it's time now to go back down. But before we go back down, we gotta go up, unfortunately. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Ah. There's a bench here. Yeah, I think that's where we went initially, where that uh, cell, uh, cell site is. Whew. That was uh, quite, a, quite an ascent. It was long, actually. Uh, makes you go out of breath. That's uh, the main thing about, you know, these ascents here. And the higher up you go in altitude, the harder it becomes, right? What was this? Sin Mombacho, no hay agua. Este bosque funciona como una esponja porque absorbe el agua de los 
lluvia se atrapa la humedad como lo hace ah, interesting so without mombacho we wouldn't have water right the entire mountain the entire ecosystem is it functions like a sponge according to that thing there and uh, it uh, absorbs the water and then the water of course goes into the clouds and then we get rain and that's how uh, rivers get fed but without this according to that sign there would be no water ah i think i just want to come down now but look at this look at these bromeliads up there crazy stuff crazy how this can just grow in this you know ecosystem here on the mountain and it does smell like a tropical uh, greenhouse when you go into the tropics somewhere Oof. Okay, I wonder if I recorded this already. Probably not. This must be in the part where I haven't been yet. Ah, my battery is dying. So I think I'm gonna have to put in another battery. This is that, uh, I guess, board that uh, it's talking about that uh, red, uh, red-eyed frog that the girl told us that uh, the amphibian uh, place there where they had the reptiles and the amphibians. And so now I'm on some kind of a main path. I guess this goes again, it goes around the crater of the volcano, but I'm I'm hoping that I hope that I'm on the right path because I don't recall going around here. Hmm. It said the exit to the biological station down towards there, so it has to be that. It has to be the right path. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. I see something over there. That's the cell site. Yeah. Was this despedida? Okay. Interesting. Can't believe that they're charging you $22 American per person to be driven to the top of this volcano. Unbelievable, it's highway robbery. It's theft, if you ask me. Just makes no sense whatsoever. Ah, so that's it, we're back where we started, finally. Ah. I wonder if there's something around here in this little house. Let's go check it out. Hopefully it's open. Oh, there's even a restaurant here. Look at that. Buenas. Buenas. Hay, uh, hay comida aquí? No, solo cafetería. No, ah, solo cafetería. Ok. Pero está cerrada ahora. ¿eh? No, puedes ir a comer. Ah, ok. Interesting. They have all these, you know, like all these uh, pamphlets uh, with birds and with uh, other animals. So these are the birds that can be seen here. Unfortunately, we didn't see any because uh, they come only early in the morning. Huh. Motmot. I know that species. Hummingbirds, obviously. Lots of hummingbirds. Uh, 
they will have pumas and a sloth we haven't seen any sloths we heard howler monkeys however that they must have So there are 47 species of mammals here, 173 species of birds, and more than 750 species of plants. Wow. An entire ecosystem on its own. Unbelievable stuff. Monkey in the tree. right up here it's making a sound there is the monkey hello oh that's a that's a howler monkey all right oh yeah that's a take a picture I think I have to zoom in yeah I zoomed in and I think it's still not uh, no huh? Clear. Yeah, like the birds in Cuba, you know? Yeah. Hello, monkey. <laughs> All right, so we finished our Mopacho Volcano tour and uh, we're taking the tour from Mopacho Volcano all the way to Canada, right? Good stuff. So this will be actually more interesting than the than the bus ride because now we get to see all those uh, landscapes. It was quite interesting. Yeah. Oh, so, so cute. What was it? The chicken. Ah, uh, chickens. Yeah. So I like the I like the view from the top of the volcano. We even managed to see a hollow monkey on the way down. That was unexpected. And there were more birds coming down in the afternoon than. There were in the morning, so uh, that was quite strange. 